Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Find your dream aviation and aerospace jobs at www.wingsofarrow.in. Now we are going to learn how to find the deflection at the free end of the cantilever. Consider a cantilever beam. Calculate the deflection of the free end of a cantilever 2000 mm long having a channel section identical to that shown figure and supporting a vertical upward load of 4.8 kN acting through the shear center of the section. The effective direct stress carrying thickness of the skin is 0, while its actual thickness is 1 mm. Young's modulus and the shear modulus are 70,000 and 30,000 Newton per mm square respectively. And the moment of inertia is 48 into 10 to the power 6 mm power 4. Let me write the given data. Length of the cantilever L is equal to 2000 mm. Shear load P is equal to 4.8 kN. Actual skin thickness T is equal to 1 mm. Young's modulus E is equal to 70,000 N per mm square. Shear modulus G is equal to 30,000 N per mm square and the moment of inertia about x x axis i suffix x x is equal to 48 into 10 to the power 6 millimeter power 4 now we have to find out the deflection of the free end of cantilever so in engineering deflection is the degree to which a structural element is displaced under a load it may refer to an angle or a distance Cantilever beams have one end fixed so that the slope and deflection at that end must be zero. The section is doubly symmetrical that is the direct stress carrying area and supports a vertical load producing a vertical deflection. Thus we apply a unit load through the shear center of the section at the tip of the cantilever and in the same direction as the applied load. Since the load is applied through the shear center, there is no twisting of the section. And the total deflection is the sum of bending deflection and shear deflection. Then write deflection delta is equal to integral of m suffix x0 into m suffix x1 divided by e into i suffix xx into dz plus integral of q0 into q1 divided by g into t ds into dz where the first term is the bending deflection and the second term is shear deflection and z is measured from the built in end of the cantilever First, find the bending deflection delta m. In the first term, as given moment m suffix x0 is equal to minus 4.8 into 10 to the power 3 into 2000 minus z. And moment about x axis m suffix x1 is equal to minus 1 into 2000 minus z and x modulus moment of inertia are also known then solve the first term with known values for the limit 2000 millimeter then we get the bending deflection 3.81 millimeter next find the shear deflection the shear flow distribution in the channel section produced by a vertical shear load of 4.8 kN acting through its shear center. We know shear modulus G and actual skin thickness T. Solve the term of shear deflection by substituting shear flow 
for section 1, 2, 3, 4 as load into distance and simplify with the limit value of length of the cantilever 2000 millimeter. Thus the shear deflection is 1.0 millimeter. The total deflection is then 4.81 millimeter in a vertical upward direction. Did you know there is a graveyard on the moon? Most of the 200 tons of trash on the moon is space junk, an ephemera crash lander or left behind by the 12 astronauts who have visited since 1969, abandoned satellites, spent rockets, cameras, backpacks and golf balls. But here is one of the more morbid moon facts. Among the detritus on the moon are the ashes of Eugene Shoemaker, one of the founders of the field of planetary science, sent skyward by NASA in a polycarbonate capsule. Lunatics can blame the moon. One of the moon facts from the Middle Ages is that scientists and philosophers believe that a full moon caused seizures and influenced episodes of fever and rheumatism. Because of the connection between the moon and unusual behavior, the afflicted were called lunatics or literally moon sick. Shadows are darker on the moon than on earth. Astronauts on the moon immediately noticed that their shadows were much darker there than on earth. The atmosphere that scatters light to create shadows on earth is absent on the moon. The sun and the earth itself provide a little bit of light, enough for shadows to still appear. But the shadows are much harder to see. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.